not have known about. But before we uh, even start, Ron, I want to let people know about your great deal going on because somebody even asked us at the ball yard yesterday about the, uh, the awesome. wiper blade deal. And awesome. The Aquapel. Tell them what's going on with that. Well, we, we've got, uh, you get two premium windshield wiper blades and the Aquapel treatment installed on your vehicle for $23 total for, for all those items. That's and the number of this station. You know, isn't that ironic? That is it weird. Is I didn't even yeah. think about that. So weird. Yeah. That's why I'm not on channel five or eight in the morning because mm -hmm. I go out of business. <laughs> <laughs> even 13. And put you out of business. I know, I know. Too bad there isn't like a channel 47 or something in Des Moines, but something big like that. You know. We're on channel 809 on MediaCom so for $809. Oh, there, maybe. maybe we could do something. Okay. But, but no, that that is a good deal. And and you know, this time of year, you know, we talk about the the Aquapel different times uh, when we're in here. We talk about how it repels rain, and and in the the winter time, it, now, what it does keeps it do? the snow. Good question for you. What does it do? Uh, for a day like today, because I parked my car outside and I had to turn the wipers on and clear off the dew from the windows. How does it work for that? Would, they, would that do any have any effect well, on that? Well, it, you wouldn't have to turn the wipers on if you started driving, you but then your vision would be what obstructed. About, would it blow it off the sides? Do you do the sides? We don't do the sides. We just do the windshield. Okay. But the other thing that, that it really helps with is, is if you take a, a summer type road trip, you notice all the bugs that get on your yes. windshield? Yeah. Those come off so much easier they're, they're, because it's it's got the, the coating on there and the bugs don't stick mm -hmm. as much. I mean, they're still going to be on the windshield, but they're going to come off a lot easier okay. you know, in the car wash or if you And how to, long does it take? How, how long of a process is it? Um, it'll take us about 20 minutes, 15 minutes to, to do the Aquapel treatment and then wiper blades when you put those on in a matter of seconds. Okay. So, do so, you need an appointment or no, just stop in? No, just stop in okay. and, and tell us you want the KCWI 23 special. All right, cool. So, what are we talking about this morning? Well, this morning we're going to talk about bicycle racks for your car. Oh, please okay. do, because I am trying to figure this out right now. <laughs> I really am. I, well, I saw one yesterday. I couldn't believe how far it extended off the back. So, I guess. Well, they've got some no, now that will hold like five or six yeah, bikes. I mean, so the apparently thing there's sticks no way regu out. Yeah, apparently there's no regulation of how far it can but, stick but out from a car. It, I, I don't know if there's a regulation or not, uh, but, but there's basically three different types, and this is a question that, that uh, Jason and I have discussed because he's been cycling through some bicycle racks, and, yeah. and uh, people talk to me about it, and, and so I want to talk about the three different types and the pros and cons, and the, the first one we got up here the picture um, is certainly the least expensive bicycle rack. It, it's universal. Um, it'll, it'll with, with a series of straps and, and, and clips and stuff, it'll hook onto the trunk or, or onto the hatchback of your car. Um, so it'll fit pretty much, you know, any vehicle out there. This is what I have now, I don't like it. Well, you, you know, we're gonna talk about the, the pros of this. The pros are it's cheap, it's universal, it's not vehicle specific. Okay. And it stops there. The, the cons <laughs> are. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the cons of that are that the straps come loose as you're yeah. driving down the road, and you've probably experienced uh, that. Everywhere, Jason. anytime I go like up to the high trestle bridge, I've got to stop like twice. Yep, the straps Do come you loose. Really? Yeah, I can't. Yep. And this is even with the fat bike that weighs a metric ton. It's still moves around, you know. Seriously. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. And then we've also got the you've got the weight of the bike. Mm -hmm. um, can damage body panels because I mean I mean the metal in the in the trunk and in the cars isn't that that heavy and you can see it pushes down there below the license Not plate built and stuff. the way it used to be built no no so so you can have damage to the, to the body panels of your vehicle uh, it, it can block the view coming out of the back especially if you got like a hatchback because those kind of sit at an angle and and I've said this before on, on on the show about other things that have the word universal. Uh, if something's considered universal, it means it does not fit anything. <laughs> That's oh. what universal means. You look it up in the dictionary. I have no idea. Universal says it doesn't fit anything, and and those are universal. They don't fit any car. Uh, so so certainly not my first choice. And, and and I haven't you know heard anybody say, hey, I got a. A, a trunk strap mount bicycle rack and I just love it. Yeah. I mean, there's probably people like that. We'll probably get emails after the show about it. But you go to the car wash, you got to take it off. It, well, and you, and you can't use the trunk. Car. Right. You know, so now where are you going to haul the helmets and all the other, you know, especially if you're taking kids the with gear, you. Yeah, yeah you got to take it on and off and it, it's just really a hassle. So, um, but but it's out there and, and, and they're, they're cheap and they're easily available. Yeah. So, and they might work for some people, but not my, my choice, not the best thing for your car. Okay, what else is out there? Well, the other one that's out there is the the roof mounted rack uh, like we see here now that's what I'm looking at now but it's confusing it, it, they are confusing there those work best you can see this is on an SUV they work best on a vehicle that came with some kind of a roof rack 
and it just attaches to the existing roof rack. Now they have them for cars that will clamp into the rain channel along the side, but then you start going down that universal road again. Um, some of the pros of this is it gets the bikes out of the way. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't, don't drive into the garage. Well, exactly. <laughs> oh, true. Trust me, I'm sure that's happened. Oh, yeah. um, you, you don't need anything additional, uh, you know, to install it. I mean, it comes, it clamps onto the roof rack, and it's done. Uh, it does securely hold the bikes. Um, it doesn't limit the use of the trunk or the hatch of the vehicle. I mean, they're just up and out of the way. Um, but the cons are, uh, you know, typically it's attached to factory roof rails that the vehicle should have. Um, if not, then you know there, there's other you know modifications or stuff needed. Uh, you have to lift the bike up to the roof level. So I mean, if you're putting it on an SUV or something taller, right. you know, there's there's but hopefully you're in shape because you're out riding a bike. So maybe that right. isn't an issue. I have to buy a lighter bike. <laughs> <laughs> Get carbon fiber. Exactly. Um, <laughs> It does limit clearance into the parking garage or into your garage. You don't want to forget that it's on there. If you're going through a fast food restaurant, mm -hmm. you know, the sign hanging down is going to well, tear the bikes. True, another, another important safety it, tip, yeah. Exactly, exactly. You got you got a top of mind awareness plays in there. Um, the other thing, especially on, a, on an SUV or a crossover vehicle that sits pretty high already, uh, l let's say you have a family and you put three or four bicycles up there, you're going to change the center of gravity of oh, that vehicle. That much? Bikes. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, and then you've got the wind that's blown on those. I mean, th those will act like a like a sail. The drag, too. Exactly, if you've got multiple uh, bicycles up there. So it can affect the handling. I mean, if you put three or four bikes on the roof of a vehicle, you're gonna know driving down the road. Hmm. So uh, that, that's something to keep in mind. And then also you put multiple bikes, especially if they're older bikes or heavier bikes, uh, we're back to the whole weight thing. How much weight can the roof of your vehicle hold? Oh yeah. You know, especially depending on how that's a, that's a, attached. But um, sure. but that certainly is a. I mean, it's a good carrier. It gets them up out of the way, and and uh, it might be a good alternative. Um, my personal favorite uh, is the next one, and it's the the model that fits into the trailer hitch uh, of a vehicle. It carries the bikes off the back of the car. Um, this might be what you were mentioning, Jackie. You saw one the other day. I mean, I saw one that, that will hold six bicycles. Yeah. And I mean, that thing goes That's back. the length it, of a trailer. Well, I was going to say, the thing was almost the same length of the car. Because it was just a, it was <laughs> yeah. a car. Yeah. But it extended way back. And there's no, I mean, obviously you can see it. But usually I thought if something extended that far out of the back of a vehicle, it needed to have something red. Oh, a flag or, or, or something, something, or something on it. Yeah. Yeah. So that you... The perception yeah. and was those there. red plastic flags. I mean, they're free at Menards. Just stop by and grab a few. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but but anyway. the guy. In. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but you know the, the the pros of that is I mean that will virtually fit any vehicle as long as it has a trailer has a hitch. hitch. Yep. Um, and now if your car didn't come with a trailer hitch, you would have to install a trailer hitch in addition. But to, that is probably the most secure way of oh, carrying it. Absolutely, and and it's it's the best for the vehicle because if you look at that, the weight of those bicycles is affixed to the hitch, which is affixed to the frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the, the weight, weight is, be. yeah, it, it's where it's where it really needs to be. Um, they make those to where the part that the bike fits on will tilt back, so you can open the hatch of the vehicle or, or open the back glass. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, yeah, so, or they'll swing out of the way. They come off relatively easily, so you don't, you know, I see people driving around with those, you know, on the back. Which, just leave them on. Yeah just, yeah, just leave them on. They're not gonna, maybe in the car wash, you'd wanna take it off. Um, they're easy to install, um, and the other thing is you don't have to, even though they've got the quick release and stuff, you don't have to take the front wheel off the bike like right. we saw on the roof Just mounted one on to there, put yeah. it on and stuff. So, um, you know, the, the, the cons, the negatives are you do need a trailer hitch for your vehicle, so if it didn't come with one, you're going to have a little added expense there, but you don't have to buy the most expensive one. You're not pulling, you know, a car behind it. I mean, right. you're, you're hanging bicycles on, so you could go with a, with a, a cheaper uh, type trailer hitch. Um, it might block the visibility of the license plate. No, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> Where were the mobile speed cams? <laughs> exactly. That's um, bothered me a bit. <laughs> uh, the, the, the bikes could be damaged if um, if you forget that they're back there and you back into something, or if, if somebody you know rear ends you in an accident, you're mm -hmm. going to lose two or three bicycles out of the deal. But that's um, all right. You know, maybe your insurance would pay for it. And and then you know the other thing I did want to mention is is there's different variations 
of all of these. Like mm -hmm. on the back one, you know, some of them they make a rack that the, the wheels fit into and stuff. And I think we have one more picture here of a variation. Um, that, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure where you buy that rack, but. Now um, there's one I can afford. <laughs> That's a handyman bike rack is what that is. I can do that. Now visibility <laughs> might be a Could problem. be an issue. And if you, have a flat, if you have a flat tire, it might take a little bit longer to get that changed. But um, like it cer certainly looks pretty Tom's rugged. That going, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Some scrap. So, so if you, you know, maybe, maybe if you had some pallets laying around or something, you're pretty good in the in the, the shop class. That that might be an option there. Hang on. I think you can um, get but, those free over on Meredith. So. <laughs> yeah. But but yeah. you know the, the the in the long run, I mean, the, the least intrusive to your vehicle, probably the most secure, is the the, the hitch mounted one. Um, mm -hmm. And and you know when you look at the, the you know the cost of the bike rack and the cost of the hitch, even if your car doesn't have one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, look at the cost of some of the bicycles say, out think there. Think of the cost of what you're putting on that rack. You know, you can, mm -hmm. you can spend easily. You can spend a thousand to five thousand bucks on a bike. I mean, they've they've got them in stack in stock in the racks in the stores and. Um, some of the bikes are going to be more valuable than the vehicles that are towing them. Well, <laughs> I get you know if you really are into bicycle, that that could that be, could be. Yeah. absolutely, All absolutely. Right. The the sky's the limit there. But um, but you know if you have questions about about bike racks or, or you want to put a hitch on your car to to put a that that type of bike rack on or something, I mean, give us a call. We're here to help. We guys cool. put uh, hitches on. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. What's the, what's the cost of a hitch roughly? Just ballpark. Not 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 a, a couple hundred bucks. Okay. All right. You know, depending on the vehicle. All right, sounds good. All right, so and find directions to Westside Auto Pro. How do you uh, do that? Just go to westsideautopros.com. That's our website. There's a locations tab, all the contact information. Because you are a little out of the way, but it's worth the effort. We think it is. Yes, it is. No, it definitely <laughs> is. All right, 654. We'll be